David Palombo and I'm a painter, freelance illustrator. Lately, the past couple of years, it's been a lot of Magic Cards, Wizards of the Coast stuff, uh, Dark Horse Comics. I've been doing some stuff for Sideshow Collectibles. I've done a few illustrated novels, which is really fun. Uh, last year I did Stephen King's Salem's Lot. It's fun to just be really constantly doing different things all the time. And in between all that, doing some gallery work and that's something that I still uh, really enjoy like taking time to to do personal pieces and uh, I mentioned that I've been doing work for Dark Horse and getting to work with them on certain things that really was a, a deep influence to me uh, like working on the aliens books and things like that uh, that is, is a very early big part of what shaped the kind of work I think that I do those are the things that I really have a hard time sometimes thinking about like, wait, how am I actually like kind of contributing to this thing that was there way before me? I never expected to be part of that conversation, you know? So that's really cool. And I just, I love painting the figure and portraits and, and just working with paint physically. As long as I'm painting, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that and just kind of riding the current and, and uh, following wherever that takes me. I see a lot of uh, illustrators who want to get into doing gallery work and sometimes it feels like a grass is greener type of situation and I think because maybe that was something that I looked at before really jumping into illustration, I can see the pros and cons of both industries. I, I like doing the gallery stuff because I really, there's certain things that I enjoy painting that just aren't applicable to uh, selling a product. The struggle of making a living doing that is something that I think has always scared me. And so uh, it's, it's really something that I try to keep more purely about what I want to do and what I enjoy doing uh, and not have the pressure attached to that of if I'm going to be able to pay my bills for the month. Being into photography was something that started out as a practical part of being a, an illustrator shooting reference and that kind of thing. And for a long time, that was really the extent of it. And uh, I started, I guess it was maybe like four years ago, actually enjoying it as a as an art form in itself. And, and it's just something to, to really kind of explore uh, what I could do with just photos as the end result. And it's really helped me as a painter uh, see in a different way and, and think in a different way about how an image works and uh, how to frame a picture, just being more sensitive to the importance of lighting and, and uh, how we feel immersive in certain situations and distant from other situations. A lot of those things were things that I had like a certain degree of understanding of, but it wasn't until I really started uh, getting more into photography that, that I feel like some concepts really kind of clicked for me. A new way of like looking at and understanding the world visually really appeals to me. I've noticed that there are definitely certain trends stylistically that are becoming kind of more like certain certain things that maybe a few years ago I didn't see very much of at all and now I'm starting to see uh, kind of bleeding into different like styles merging uh, or I'm seeing a lot of line work which is, is really cool to see. I mean, being a painter, I love looking at paintings, but it's, it's nice to have like different approaches to the same kind of ideas. And uh, I think definitely there are trends that shift every couple of years. It's funny because I know there's only uh, two awards per category and there's so many pieces that are really great. And then there's also a lot of pieces that really tickle me for some reason that make me feel like even if they don't get an award, I wish I had like veto votes that I could just be like, these are my picks, even if I'm the only one, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a little maybe off the beaten path, but, but something about it just really grabs me. A spectrum has always been uh, something that I looked at as inspiration and, and as something that was really kind of an aspiration when I was starting out. Um, and some, a place that I could kind of see really kind of what the, what the bar was that I needed to be aiming for. And, and as I uh, started 
working and started, you know, kind of like moving forward with my own career, uh, it still was that, but then it also became a place where every year I could look at what I'd done over the past 12 months and kind of assess. And there were years where I would look back at those 12 months and be really happy with the, the progress I'd made. And there were years where I'd look back and realize that maybe this past year I hadn't been moving in the direction that I, that I wanted to be. And so it's, it's always been, I think, uh, just a really valuable way for me to kind of stop and take a look at, around me and, and see if I'm still moving in a direction that I want to be going in.